Hello, it's Nerp here, and we are number two. And I'm a couple wins away from overtaking Pukku, Pukku, a member of the Think Tank Guild, our rival guild, the rival of the Badger Guild. So, um, Team Badger is actually occupying spots two through seven right now. Me, Color Plant, Magma Man, Slin, Smogan, Dialects are all in the Badger Guild. You go down a little farther than we can get, like, Blinky. And I believe... I want our Nick, please, is, like, in the Think Tank. So, a couple wins away from becoming number one. So, let's go for Decay. I believe PUQ has a... 17... rating, I think. So, like, two wins, if we're lucky, we can get there. Pretty surprised that in two days of playing, able to go from zero rating to seventeen hundred rating. I'm not sure if, bef like, the original rating system, like before this reset, I'm not sure if uh, when it started that you didn't get like a hundred um, rating points for every for every win. For this, it started at fifteen hundred. Then you started getting like. 10 to 20 for each one, and you start losing 10 to 20 for each loss. Avnis. Good luck. I think he plays Growth. I played him a lot yesterday. Um, life Steals are good against Growth, but I'd rather just not have 2 to 5 drops so I can go on a nice um, path. Okay. Yep, he's Growth. Okay, generally beats growth, but again, growth, nothing beats a super strong growth start. What do we sack here? Lifestealer, Harvester, Witch Doctor, or Seeker? I think it's between the Lifestealer and the Oblivion Seeker. As good as Lifestealer is versus growth, I think Oblivion Seeker is just too good in combination with a Witch Doctor and then a Harvester, so... Okay, so we don't want to go down there. We'll stay up here. Um, Ripper is good, but I think I'm going to sack it because we want to keep these guys. And I think I'll go Harvester in front. Nice big wall. It's a Harvester is so good. Like, three cost. And it's a mo you could just use it as a moving wall. For six costs, a moving wall is probably like good enough. But also, it has that amazing ability. Ah, it's like the witch doctor. I like this four to five thing too much. Should I move down and try to pressure him? Because the chances of him breaking through this harvester this turn is very slim. You'd need like a ragged and a crimson bull. But he's at three resources. He's probably gonna play like a brother or a rat king next turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run away. This thing is this this Herber is about to attack, so maybe I should have stayed down there. But I want the safe play. Okay. So hope no brother. He's probably gonna play brother or rat king. Yep, rat king. Okay. And now I'm going to engage. I'm going to move down here. Ah. We'll hold off on the Oblivion Seeker. I mean, the Oblivion Seeker, you don't use it for its two attacks, so it's not a big deal, making its countdown delayed a little bit. Damning Curse. We're going to have to sack it, sadly. And there we go. So now he doesn't really have any threats against us. The big thing with uh, Decay, I think, is the board control, because... They don't have a Quake or a Thunder Surge. I was thinking about putting a couple of Return to Natures in this deck. Just for the fact that two Return to Natures just clears a growth board almost. But, like, I, I was envisioning, like, a Watcher Necrogeddon deck with Return to Natures and, like, Rat Kings and Fertile Soils. But, I don't know. 
Maybe I'll try it eventually. Okay. So. Let's see. I'm not sure if he's sacked yet. Maybe Great Wolf, Brother of the Wolf, or the Rat King. Let's see what he plays. So I think I'm going to... Most likely I'm going to sacrifice the card that I draw, because these three cards are very good to have. So I'm probably going to sack that for resources, play the Seeker, and then my plan is after that, play the Witch Doctor. And I'm sure a Brain Lace will be needed sometime. Maybe before I play those C units, who knows. So, after his turn, my units that are going to be able to do stuff is just the Curse Monger. Like now he sacks and plays a Vet. Okay. Wrong decision to do that. He still can't kill this thing without a Crimson Bull. Or he could be able to answer the totem. Um, but actually, well, one of these things are going to die right now from that, so. Uh, I think we have to sack the Harvester here. And I'm going to move the Harvester up so it's out of harm's way from this rat. Play the Seeker. Okay. So if he has a Crimson Bowl... It's not very good. He's then that kills him and him. But then, this Harvester has a one countdown. Oh no. Watch out, that wasn't even that bad. Uh, let's see. We could play the Witch Doctor. Then these two scrolls are very good. Especially combined with this guy. But I think at this point, we really want to get a witch doctor out. So. Languid or brain lice? I'm going to sack the languid. Because brain lice is just too good with the curse power. Um, kill the rat. So. I'm going to run away. You. Play you. Okay. So now, Ripper's probably dead. I'll get a husk in its place. Okay. I don't think it's even possible for him to kill my witch doctor this turn. Ooh, we have five spectators. Better put on a good show. Alright. So, we'll get ready to sack whatever comes up because brain lice. Probably want to keep. Well, what would I use over Brain Lice? Maybe another Witch Doctor I'd keep. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Don't play anything too scary, please. That's not that scary. He's only a little scary. Not too bad. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, we have a Damage Curse. I think we should sack the damn curse. Okay, good. We can play the brainless and the blood bear. So I think I'm going to kill the sister of the fox with this oblivion seeker. And I could have this guy do three damage to one of them, but I'm actually going to kill this thing right now. I don't like that thing attacking every turn. So I cursed it. Brainless. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna move everybody back and down, maybe. Uh, put all he has is that guy attacking this turn. I was going to put the Blight Bearer up there, but then he could just attack it, and then it has one health. And one health for a Blight Bearer is significant, because that means that when it attacks, it will die. So all then it's just the thing that's just going to poison whatever row it's on when it attacks. 
Because if you didn't know, Blight Bearer takes one poison damage before attacking. Okay. So, we can fill up our board with more beefy units next turn just by sacking whatever card that comes up for the K and playing a Hunter and a Blight Bearer. But we'll see what we want to do. We'll see what our other options are. Our only guy attacking next turn is a Witch Doctor, so if he fills up his board this turn, then it might be hard for us to counter. Ten? How do we have ten spectators? I think the most I've had is like 14. That was like before the reset, and I was playing a high-ranked game when I was like 13 or something. Alright. I always don't know what to think of it when somebody uses a long time for their turn. Like, I feel like that's bad for me. Because that's probably mean he's like deciding, like, which thing is going to deal more damage or like, if he can win this turn. Like, obviously he can't win right now, but I'm talking about like other situations. Did he just... Did he just not go? Oh. Well. Whatever. 431 gold because of the double gold weekend. If you didn't know, this is I'm recording this just like right after, in real time, the last video. Um. Okay. So I think we're still in second. Yeah. Again, the ranking does not mean that much right now because it uh. Because they're just going to keep going up until like they settle down. Alright. I don't think I should bother starting another game. A little lackluster episode right here. Uh, why don't we... Spend... A couple minutes... <laughs> making a deck. Uh, I here just you know if you want to see this is my mono growth deck without wolves. Tried to make one that would be okay. Doesn't seem like it's that good. Think about it. The the main premise of most growth decks or every growth deck is wolves. Twelve of the probably around twenty four creatures. It's like about half of the creatures in a growth deck have to do with wolves. The mangy wolf, the ragged wolf, the great wolf, and the brother wolf. You probably have three of each, so that's twelve. So, from this deck, I took out those 12 creatures. I put in Sister of the Bear, Berserker, Kinfolk Yarl, and a stat card. Let's see, what could I put in something else in? Uh, lag. Um, maybe Druid Burial Ground instead of the stat cards. Stag cards are so cool. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Only one of those. Untainted. But yeah, more kinfolk. Yarl's actually pretty good. It, um, the new inspiring plus one attack when it comes into play, it's like all his adjacent units get, uh, worse crimson bull. Pretty good, pretty good. But yeah. Um. Look kind of bad that I was so short. All you guys look at some of my um, scrolls stats. This one, three months ago, 40 wins, 68 matches. So this vetter has only killed four idols and six units. I don't know if that's a lot or a little. 70 matches, it's only killed four idols. I don't know. Played 30 times, sacrifice 7, that shows that shows you how much I value vetters. Uh, it's this dag cart. Only third oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Four wins in 13 matches. Wow. Yarl, has it even been played? Not really. Wait, so this is a tier 2 scroll, right? Yeah, tier 2 scrolls I think only count the matches and wins. And I think this is a little more shiny. I think this is tier 3 and it counts all this other stuff. I'm actually not sure. Let me try to find something else to compare it to. 
here, I'm gonna, here, I played Order the Longest when I got the game, so, my Order deck would have the most, um, combined scrolls, let's see, um, it's just easier to tell, like, if it's tier 2 or tier 3. Focus, this probably use a lot, yeah, a lot. Okay, this is probably tier 2. Let's see if we can find some different stats. Alright, so this shows that because it can do that stuff. This pot there. Okay, here. No, that's just the bottom of the manga now. I thought it was like some weird like extra scroll thing that comes out of it. Vanguard? No, Vanguard's not. Wait. Yeah, it is. Wait. The Vanguard. Wait, why is it doesn't why doesn't it look shiny? Oh here's here's a shiny one. Um This this says this has to be tier three. Destroyed. Okay, so this ragged wolf has all that stuff, and this Duke Lumberman has the same stats. Well, I can't figure it out. So if anybody knows, sorry for wasting the last five minutes of your time. But so I thank you all for watching, and. I'll see you next time.